matchup. And I hate to say that, but I think so. Well, Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair now both uh, pushing on, as it were. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's going to be very difficult for Hulk Hogan to work. And certainly, Bubba the Love Sponge had something to say to him this week. He told him, don't be a mark for yourself. Uh, which basically translates to stop uh, putting yourself over and thinking that you can wrestle a match when perhaps you're too beat up. Hogan has said in interviews that in Australia, in the ring with Flair, he discovered that his days in the wrestling ring were just about over. It was very tough for him. Yeah, Hogan, definitely his legs are shot, his hips are shot. Every part of him is pretty much shot. And I think he knows that he can't compete but he as Hogan will always do uh, do what's right for the business and uh, you know he knows that they can get the kind of general media attention by saying he's coming back to the ring even at that age and that uh, type of condition but uh, he knows that to work it definitely and he'll uh, it will I think pull people in out of curiosity for the people who might not watch anymore. Impact ended this week with Ric Flair blooded and messed. He had blood uh, coming out of uh, a couple of different orifices anyway uh, after uh, the, uh, the the beatdown that he received uh, at the end of TNA Impact this week. And I have to say that in contrast to the week before that where Hogan was bloody, Seeing either of these guys blooded and bashed up is not exactly what we want to see on primetime TV in the year 2010. Yeah, and it has a different... Uh, one thing I like about it, it has a different feel, and it, what, like we spoke about with the PG rating. Um, not to be gory and vicious about it, we've seen it all before, but even that small bit of blood... Uh, at the end, does kind of sell things a little bit more. Um, and I think will make a lot of people who don't watch curious to to, to see, especially when it's a barbed wire and a, and a stick or whatever the hell it was that uh, Flair got caught up with. Um, but that's the difference, I think. They're not playing it safe and... I think it will be on the days of playing it safe in the wrestling business. It, it needs to be um, a bit cutting edge for the most part. And um, having, having the blood is a good thing, I think. Seeing those more controversial angles, it reminds you just what you miss by watching the WWE product these days. You're not going to see a trace of blood unless it was by accident with that PG rating on WWE television. Which gives us less and less incentive to tune in. TNA, I, just like you say there, the contrast is there. You can see how controversial and sort of intense they're pushing the direction. They're making it more an adult oriented product. And I think that there's a big enough audience out there to support it. And maybe it could indeed be the factor that eventually gets WWE to reconsider that PG rating. And perhaps one day we will once again have an Attitude Era. It will be great to see. Yeah, we need it. We need Attitude. It's too safe, Vince. We're looking at you, Vince. We are looking at you. We want you to change the product back to exactly what it was before in the Attitude Era. Uh, anyway, the WrestleDope Wrestling Podcast, we are live now on Justin.tv. And, you know, we... Uh, we're going to do that each and every week, so we're going to talk more about it. We're going to let you know about it on all our websites, and you're going to know we're on here, and you can check us out anytime recording the podcast live. Uh, there will be some edits to the podcast, but certainly you get extra material by uh, tuning in here to the justin.tv channel. I want to put justin.tv over. In fact, it's one of those sites that is really taking off at the moment, and you know that because you're on here. Now, that was TNA Impact, and that's pretty much all we have to say about that. We'll speak more about that Monday Night War coming up later in our Dirt Sheet section. Uh, we're going to get on to SmackDown now, and yes, we do watch each and every one of these programs 
A lot of the wrestling radio talk shows, there's people on there, they don't even watch SmackDown. Can you believe that? And they're talking about it. They're trying to tell you something about it. They haven't even watched it. But we're going to guarantee to you that no matter what happens, we're going to be watching that programming each and every week, fans, here on the WrestleDope.com Wrestling Radio Podcast. And that's a shoot. Smackdown, Edge defeated Big Show. Yeah. Um, nothing uh, to really uh, of any importance there. Um, so we'll skip over that one. Um, on to uh, more Money in the Bank qualifiers. Uh, good to see it shaping up nicely with um, Matt Hardy going over to McIntyre. God knows why. Jeez, um, I, I, you know, I think uh, no offense, Matt, but uh, you know, what's what's the gimmick? What's the future? Um, you know, I think a, a quick release and send him down to TNA with Jeff because uh, he, I don't know, there's nothing you can do with him. Uh, he was at his peak with the whole V1 gimmick, um, but now he just looks bloated. He's boring to watch. Uh, the music is still the same. Uh, it's expired and it's long it's expired. So why have him in the Money in the Bank qualifier? He's not going to do any crazy high spots. He's over that. Hill and uh, Drew McIntyre gets shunned, um, which is probably a good thing as well because we're not really big fans of Drew. Uh, but um, yeah, on the bright side, there are some good uh, <coughs> performers in this year's Money in the Bank with Christian and Shelton and Dolph. Uh, and uh, Swagger, as we said earlier, going through. So that'll make it interesting. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that with uh, our WrestleMania rundown later on. So it looks like Matt Hardy defeating Drew McIntyre in that Money in the Bank qualifier. One has to wonder, where is Vince's pet going? What's he going to be doing at WrestleMania? i got to think that he is going to be filling that spot. And each and every year, someone has to take the short straw, if you like, the match with Kane. Oh boy, um, yeah, uh, it's been it was pretty awful to watch last week with Kay and Drew McIntyre. Uh, it's a definite uh, channel changer for me. Both, uh, um, I've no interest in, um, and where it leaves uh, Drew and Kane. I mean, they can't. It would be uh, the worst thing on the planet for them to do. Drew versus Kane. At Mania. Um, what would be kind of okay with me would be for uh, if Drew really is Vince's boy um, and the way he's uh, on the feet of the street kind of got, how would you say, destroyed or written off uh, by Vince on SmackDown. Maybe if they do the same thing for the money in the bank and put Drew in the money in the bank. It would be a good spot for him, and uh, although we're not the biggest fans of, of old Drew McIntyre, um, it would be probably a bit refreshing to see him in there. Shelton Benjamin defeated Dolph Ziggler in another head-scratcher. Dolph Ziggler deserves every push that can be put behind him. Why are you going to push Shelton Benjamin? Uh, it baffles me. Yeah, they're probably just having a, a little preview warm-up. You're going to probably see it each and every week from here on to Mania. Uh, what to expect with uh, Benjamin and Ziggler. And we might see Swagger and MVP and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, for the next couple of weeks to build on the Money in the Bank. Uh, I suppose there's any real solid storyline. It's all about the briefcase. And um, yeah, it's no big, I think, Ziggler to uh, put Benjamin over. Do you think every now and then that some of these veterans that are sitting in the back and perhaps don't get put over that often, do you think the company or the office decides now and again, let's throw them a bone, let's give them that push on TV for at least a week and see if they gain any momentum from that? Yeah, I think all you have to do is look at um, people in the past who I would have definitely said I have no interest in um, like Chavo Guerrero and Goldos, two typical exa examples. But again, when you watch them wrestle, 
in a live setting, it'd be the 